Good afternoon, students. Today we will we'll, uh, revise the topic tables in HTML. The table is a organized way to display the data. It is used to display the data in the shape of rows and columns. In HTML, we use table tag to insert table in HTML form uh, in the HTML document. It is a container tag. So you will have to start it and then you will have to close this. Inside the table tag, we use PR tag to create a new row and then we use pd tag or ph tag for creating a cell. The difference between pd and ph is that in pd text will be normal, but in the case of ph data will be inserted in a uh, heading wise, in a title wise, Data, data will be bold and center aligned. So TR stand for table row, TD stand for table data, and TH stand for table header. So these are the three important tags we are using inside the table. Now there are different uh, attributes which we can use in table tag. The attributes of table tag. of table tag. The first tag is border. The border tag is used to display the border of uh, the outline of your table. Second one is VG color. In order you to, uh, if you want to insert background color of your table. Third one, background attribute. If you want to set any image as a background of your table, fourth one, align. This tag is used to for the alignment of complete table, maybe in the center or right or left. By default, alignment is always left. Then cell spacing if you want to insert some extra space between the uh, two cells it is called the attribute is cell spacing it's one attribute six attribute is cell padding the so passive cell padding is a space between cell border and cell containment. So cell border or cell containment, if you have extra space, then you have cell padding used of you. Then there is a rules attribute, then frame. Okay. So after that, you have to use attribute, you have to use table tag. So you have to use rules and frame. So now we are going to create one table uh, in which I will view the, these attributes. Now table I am going to create here. Here is admission number. Here is name of the student. 
here is marks So here is a first row. Data is bold and center aligned. So this table I want to create. So we start with the tag table. In order to show the border outline, border equal to three, then start row like with the help of PR and in first row cells are center aligned and board that that uh, that's why we are using here th in place of td here is th admission number and then Then PR close, oh, sorry, TH close, start, TH again, then name, then mark. Then close PR tag. Okay. So you will have to close the PR tag. Now, second row, start the PR again. And then TD, don't use PH because not data is normal. It is not center aligned. So here, first TD. 1001 and then, then second DD the name of the student is Amrit and then close PD and third cell marks is 78. Then close PR, start PR again. Here is 1002 Gagan, then PD 1002 then name of the student is Gagan. The marks is 89. And then close PR. Now, next is the fourth row admission number 1003, Pavan, and marks 56. So, start PR again. Then PD. 1003 close the uh, td 
then again dd power and then close dd then again dd marks with six close dd and then close er and then table tag this is the complete table coding so now i am going to implement this for html use the structural tag like uh, html then head tag title tag close table tag uh, title tag then head tag start body tag and then close body tag and then close html tag save this file with extension dot html table dot html you can use htm or dot html so my file is saved double click on the file so this is my complete table in case you want to change its background color use attribute bg color and uh, in case you want to change the border color there is a border color property a border color tag border color so you want to give red so here you can take color name or color codes so outer border is of blue uh, the red color you can also increase the size of your border next is uh in case you want to insert any picture as a background so in place of bg color take here background equal to name of the image file so there is a one file i am copying its name in double quotes within double quotes type the name of the file with extension so this is my web page 
because the size of the image is very large that's why it's showing only the blue color that is the color of sky any doubt on this <laughs> 